Hey guys and welcome back to Playtech TV, I'm Arnith and today we have a very exciting video for you guys. We're going to be comparing two mainstream level graphics cards. We have the HD7770 from ASUS and the GTX 650 from Gigabyte. So both cards come in different lengths. The 7770 comes at 230mm from the I.O. And the GTX 650 comes at 180mm from the I.O. to the end of the cooler. So now we're going to quickly compare the I.O. of both of the cards. Starting off with the 7770, we have a DVI D port, a DVI I port, which supports a VGA adapter. We have an HDMI port and a display port. So looking at the GTX 650, we have two DVI ports, HDMI and a VGA port. So now we're going to compare the specs of both of the cards. The 7770 features a 28 nanometer process. It has a core clock of 1020 megahertz. It has a memory clock of 4600 megahertz effective, memory of 1 gigabyte GDDR5, and a memory bus width of 128 bits. And for the specs of the GTX 650, very similar to the 7770, it has a 28 nanometer process. It has a core clock of 1100 megahertz, a memory clock of 5000 megahertz effective, one gigabyte GDDR5 of memory, and a memory bus width of 128 bits. So now we're gonna introduce the test system. We have an AMD 1100T cooled by an Antec Cooler 920. We have four gigs of crucial ballistic memory. We have a 500 gig Hitachi drive, and the motherboard is an ASUS Sabertooth 990FX, and all of this is powered by an Antec 750 watt gamer power supply. So as far as testing these cards go, we're going to use 3D Mark 11 at 1920 by 1080 on the performance test, and we're also going to use four different games, the quite popular Battlefield 3, Borderlands 2, Just Cause 2, and Sleeping Dogs. So some of these games have their own built-in benchmarking software, so we're going to use those to record the average frame rates, and those that don't, we're going to use fraps to record the benchmarking. So, you guys have seen the results, and you know that the 7770 wins 4 out of 5 times. The 650 has won in the games like Borderlands 2. So really, at the end of the day, it depends on what games you're playing of how the graphics will perform. So the clear winner here is the 7770, but performance may vary during to what vendor you're going to get. Some of them come factory overclocked, so there might be a slight increase in performance. But other than that, the 650 wins in the small majority of the games that we tested so some other games might be very good for the 650 as well but for the majority of games that we have tested the 7770 is the outright winner it's also cheaper and it has better performance so if you're on a budget the 7770 might be the card for you the GTX 650 has a smaller form factor so if you're planning on building a mini ITX build then it should be a lot more compact and could be the card for you so thanks guys for checking out this GPU comparison between these mainstream level cards. Hopefully we'll be able to do a better test for you guys with more high-end graphics cards for those of you looking for better performance. But for now we'll just leave it with these two cards. So we have all types of stock here at Playtech New Zealand. Come in and let our friendly staff show you this product. We have lots of different stock from different vendors so you can find the card that's right for you. So if you enjoyed this video and you learned something from it today, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to Playtech TV for more wonderful content.